Well, good day, good day, and welcome. My name's Jim, and today we're going to be doing some fencing. Although I like to refer to this as bloody fencing. Why? Because it bloody sucks. That's why. Okay, so uh, I was uh, I was doing some excavator work, and there was a a giant friggin' noxious weed there uh, that like went half as high as these trees here and I cut it down with a chainsaw and she fell down and took out this fence these are the remnants of it here so oh, and as you can see there you go nice uh, nice bent star picket so we're going to replace this bit here so I thought what the fuck if I've got to do it so can you you can come and join us and that sound like fun so here's our uh, Here's our supplies. Big roll of fucking shitty ass fucking barbed wire, which I absolutely friggin' hate this crap. We got some fucking star pickets in the back here. Got our sledgehammer. We should really have a star picket rammer, but we don't, so shit happens. And uh, my learned friend up here is about to uh, bring us some pliers and uh, some normal wire and uh, some fucking wire strainers which I'll teach you how to use all in all really good fun so uh, sit back relax and uh, enjoy the show because I'm fucking sure I'm not gonna alright let's get on with this shit shall we rightio what we have here is our wire strainer this is uh, one type of wire strainers anyway there's a few different types what's basically gonna happen is um, we're going to put one side of our wire in here, like such, and this is going to clamp it down and hold the shit. And the other set, we'll wind this over so you can see it. We're going to put the other side in here. That's going to do exactly the same thing. And the tighter we fucking, tighter we make the wire, the more that bloody pulls on that and holds it. And this bit here, this crawls up this chain. And I'll show you how that works in a minute. It basically, just comes up and grabs it and, and pulls it in like this. And that's going to make the fucking fence wire tighter and tighter and tighter. So, here's our uh, star pickets. Actually, if you want to not bother about those for the time being, mate, we'll just put up uh, we'll just put up the wire first, and then we'll put the fucking the star pickets in after. So. Alrighty, well, first thing we're going to do is fucking roll out some wire. Roll out the wire. We're going to have a wire of fun. No, not really. No, not really, but I will. <laughs> Where's the pliers? Where's the pliers? In the back of me fucking you. There you go, mate. Fucking no true words have been spoken. In the back of the fucking ute. What are you doing there, son? Stop. I wonder why. <laughs> uh, what you're actually supposed to do is put a fucking bar through these cunts on a stand and then they'll actually just fucking unwire themselves, unroll themselves, but... Um, yeah, for some reason we've decided to do this the rather the fucking hard way. I'm not completely fucking 100% sure why, but let's just pretend we're doing it the right way, which we're fucking not. Okay. So, first thing we're going to do here is we're just going to join these two fucking bits of wire together. We've got this bit here that's broken right here this is our bitch this is our fresh stuff I'm going to join these cunts together now the pliers I'm using are fucking parrot beak pliers and <clears throat> started using these because my grandfather owned a pair and uh, personally I think they're the best kind of fucking pliers to use when doing fencing now I'll Parrot beaks and they come in fucking great handiness. So, alrighty, 
I'm going to pass you off to my offsider and uh, you're going to see how I fucking join these cunts together. So. Right, so we've got a fucking bent dick bit on the end here. We're just going to cut this cunt off because we want a decent piece of wire together. Ah, oh, beautiful. Try and join these fuckers together. Just going to hold that there like such in the same light, and we're just going to do this by hand for a sec. Well, yes, I probably should have my gloves on, but no matter what you do, you're going to get fucked. Because if you have gloves on, gloves are going to catch. Yes, you won't bleed, but you're going to get fucking hooked up. So anyway, I am going to put my gloves on in a second. Grab this cunt here. It's been a complete and utter fuck. Because it's not attached to anything. So it's fucking really, really fucking hard to wrap up. I'm going to edit this so it makes it look like I know what the fuck I'm doing. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're just going to get some small gauge plain wire. And we're just going to chuck this on something just to fucking hold it there for a second actually. I think my learned friend will hold it just you grab hold of that cunt nice and tight. Yeah. Get off it! Get off it! <laughs> Fuck, that sucks. And this is the kind of thing barbed wire does. Just fucking rips your fucking gloves to shreds. So, start on here. And this is going to stop this wire from sliding back down. You should be able to get back a bit. Pull back a bit or not. Now I'm only doing a patch job on this and it's the guy who owns this property is a fuckwit so I'm not even gonna fucking do an absolutely fantastic job. I'm just gonna do a fucking job good enough to fucking hold the fucking cows in here. So I can fuck off and go do something I want to do. Right, that's pretty much all we need. I know it looks bodgy as fuck, but believe it or not, that's going to hold a great deal. Okay, so, well, we've been caught on the count of rain, which is just fucking lovely. So I would have known this, I just would have stayed at home and drank piss and played darts. How's that sound, my learned friend? Playing fucking darts and drinking piss. What do you think? Hey. There we go. You fucking... You've been told now. So, well, we're just going to sit here for fucking 10, 15 minutes. So I'm going to have a look at the radar on my phone. See if uh, this shit's gonna fucking back off for us. All right. Well, we're gonna have another go at doing this fence. Uh, now that the weather has changed, uh, one day later, and it is fucking 30 degrees Celsius with uh, fucking 78 percent humidity. You gotta love it. At least you can cut this out. Ha! <laughs> Nice and tight, like my ex misses. You wish. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Holy fuck me dead, it's hot. Now, we're just going to wrap this prick around. 
itself, like such. some of this shit here and this we're gonna fucking wrap around these and that'll stop them from pulling apart I'm gonna roll up my sleeves a little so stop getting fucking caught in the barbed wire as I said excuse my huffing and puffing I realise it's fucking annoying but so is being out here You've got no idea how fucking hot it is. The sweat is just pissing off me. Look. Australia, mate. Australia! Fucking Australia, mate. That's it. Either burning or drowning. Yeah. <laughs> Cunt's either on fire or it's fucking underwater. <laughs> That's it. That's all there is to her. Except now we're gonna try and get this cut off. And then this prick comes back that way. That's her. Undo that one. Back her off. Right. That's done. Where's our... So you get them off, otherwise you can't get them off at all. Give them a fucking hit right there, like such. That's it. Now we've got a fairly tight sort of fucking fit here. We've still got to put in our star pickets yet. I know some people are going to complain and say you should be putting in star pickets first. Well, blow me. Don't give a shit. Right, next wire. Ow, biatch. Thank you. Our fucking metal bits are starting to heat up. Get rather hot. Now you have to pull on these cunts to Make sure they fucking get in. I think the majority of them just shoot shit. <laughs> Is that true, ladies and gentlemen? If you're in America and you play darts, let me know below. If you're in America and all you do is shoot shit, comment below. We'd like to know. <sighs> Alright. I think darts might only be something that people really get into in uh, in Europe and England and Aussies. Aussies like darts. Down in there, you fucker. Come on. Mm. 
Mm-hmm, bitch. <clears throat> Just wrapping the wrapping the wire around. We've twisted the other two together, and it just stops them coming undone. And they hold a fucking mighty bit of force too. So we just got that bottom strand on. Put it in the fucking eyes. Hold lots of pain in your ass. So, that's her there. Now we're going to put a star picket right dead smack in the centre here, which is behind a little bit. And then we're going to fucking tie these onto it, which we'll show you how in a sec. All right, so we want it about three or four hundred behind the fence and right in the middle here. Yep, right there. Um, yeah, about there, looks good. Uh, up a little higher, yep. Well done. That's the fucking way to do it. Beautiful. Lad's becoming a fucking expert fucking fencer now. Can go out fucking west, do a couple hundred fucking kilometres a day. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, fuck that, mate. I can only imagine how hot them poor fucks are. Oh, at least it's drier heat. It's the fucking humidity around here that's just fucking incredible. Uh, next up. Yeah, there. You're doing a good job. Really good job. Nice. Excuse the lack of talking, but we're rooted. <laughs> That's fucked. Righto, just a couple of ones on that fucking star picket. And she's done. Oh, now we're the fuck the end of this thing. He's playing, find the end of the fishing line. Yeah, <laughs> one in.
little bit of a breeze. Ooh. Okay, well that's it boys and girls. She's fucking done. And so are we. We've got some more fencing to do but we ain't doing it today. Because it's just ridiculous. Fucking gonna kill us. So, there you go. She's completed. Might not be the most fucking fantastic job but it's good enough so we can say we've done it and we can get the fuck out of here. So alright, well. As per usual, be good, stay safe. We'll see you around like a wristle transetters. Ciao ciao. Play the music. <laughs> techno, techno. Go, go, go.